welcome back to my channel where I like to discuss everything related to canvas and education. Welcome to my tropical oasis. It is now summer vacation after a long year of crazy distance learning, hybrid learning, all of the above during a pandemic. So congratulations if you are on summer break, about to be on summer break, we did it. We are pioneer educators for sure. In case you do not know who I am, my name is Lauren and I am the Canvas Queen. I'm so happy and grateful that you found me on this crazy thing called the internet slash YouTube. So sit tight, grab your favorite beverage of choice, and we'll get into the video. Uh, we are going to discuss how to prepare for the following year with Canvas. So you're probably, you know, either ending the school year or the school year has already ended for you. And you're looking at your Canvas course from the previous year going, how can I save all this content that I've made for next year? So I'm going to review all the ways that you can do it. There are multiple. So you can choose whichever one that you prefer, or you can actually do multiple as backups. So before I begin going into really the three main ways you can save your previous Canvas course for next year is everything that I discussed today, please check with your Canvas representative in your district. So sometimes certain things that work for one district, one school district, or one Canvas um, instance may not necessarily be uh, what another instance does. So just make sure that you are checking with your district to make sure that these options are possible for you, as always. Okay, so the first option you have when saving your Canvas course for the next school year is actually to just let it sit there. So it will, the course will of course expire, the live course, so your students no longer have access to it, it closes, and then that course is no longer um, editable. So you can't go in, you can't edit assignments, you can still actually look at grades and speed grader, look at all the data, but pretty much that course is like not editable. So if you want to edit it with all of your content over the summer, that is where I would lead you to step two, which would be to create a sandbox or a workroom and import all of your content in there because there is no deadline of when that course ends. There's no students in it. You get to edit it, all of your content, whenever you want. But back to the first step is if you go into all courses in Canvas, you can actually see the previous courses from previous years there and look at all of your content. Now, this is really great. Let's say if you want to use old stuff from previous years, I still have classes in there from when I started working at my district from 2018 that I still actually used this year, last year, so on. So really awesome because one thing you can do if you don't want to even touch Canvas this summer or you're like, I'm going to just put it off and wait till the end of the summer before I go to school, I need a Canvas break, understandable. You can actually just let it sit there and then um, ultimately what will happen then is when you're ready, you can import that content from that past course into a sandbox or your next new course. Pretty simple, pretty cool too. Uh, so that is your first option. Then of course, we kind of touched a little bit on that second option, which is you can uh, create a workroom or a sandbox. So they're the same thing. <laughs> it's just a empty course that only you, the teacher and whoever you invite into that course has access to. There's no end date. It's, never, it's not gonna close on you. So you can actually go into your old course um, well, actually go into your new course, excuse me, your empty shell sandbox workroom and import content from your courses or course that you uh, completed this year. So that's another way. And the best part about this is it's still in Canvas. 
and you, you have full access to it. You can edit it if you want to over the summer, adding things, creating, you know, more content, more curriculum, figuring out, playing around with it. If you're still interested <laughs> in doing that over the summer, we, I know we all need a break. Um, but yeah, that's probably my favorite way to do it is to just copy every course into a sandbox or again, workroom. So that's the second option. Your third option, and this is kind of relevant for educators as well that are, let's say, moving districts and want their current Canvas course, but they're going to be moving from one instance to a different instance. If you're not super familiar what an instance is, all that means is like your district has its specific like Canvas URL and then like your next district, let's say that you're going to be transferring to or working for next has a different Canvas instance or URL. So every district has a different one. And actually my district, Clark County, has, I think it's three, it might be two. I th no, it's, I think it's, I think it's three, but it's just basically they have one for instance for high school, one instance for middle school, and one for elementary school because we are just way too big of a district. Should I say that? I don't know if I should say that. But anyways, <laughs> we're a big district. Um, so the third option, let me back on track. Third option is to uh, actually export your course. So essentially all you have to do is go into settings. From settings, um, there will be options or the option for you to export your course as a zip file that you can save onto your computer. And from there, you can basically put it on a thumb drive or whatever you prefer, moving either forward to a new district, or let's say you just want it as a backup. Like I said, there you have multiple options if you wanna do all three, just to make sure that your course isn't going anywhere, your content isn't going anywhere. Um, so yeah, that zip file, exporting it is nice, especially if you're moving to a new district as a teacher. Okay, so summarizing all of those options, that's pretty much it, is one, not do anything, just kind of wait until you're ready to look at the content. Maybe, you know, you wait and uh, the beginning of next year and all you do is you get your new course, you import your old course, your past course into your new course. That is an option. So pretty much chill in. You don't have to do it. Uh, two, if you're like me who wants to edit things over the summer and, um, you know, create new things and then just kind of like copy over what I did this summer into the next year's course, putting it in a workroom or a sandbox, all of my curriculum there is the second option to save your stuff. Then the third option is to export your course and uh, save it as a zip file onto your computer, a USB thumb drive, whatever you prefer from there. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, three options, all great. You can do all three. You can, uh, you know, pick and choose. It's up to you. That's what I love about Canvas is there's always options. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your summer vacation. I know some of you are the MVP teachers of the year who are doing summer school. Shout out to all of you. Would love it if you would give this video a like. Again, thank you for all of your support and I will see you next time. Bye friends.